It's very simple, sweetie. You want something, you pay for it. And there's no discount for rugged and handsome here. What can you offer me? You are in the finest brothel in town. If you can't find it here, it's not worth having. Tell me about you. How's business? The Inquisition don't care about maintaining order in a brothel. So they turn a blind eye when our clients reach a new level of disgusting. Just take a look at that bastard over there. His name's Ericsson. Drinks all day and hits my girls. My regular guards left town and Ericsson won't listen to me. Dirty scum. Just ask my girl Gwen what kind of a monster he is. With the Inquisition ignoring us, there can be no justice for a place like this. We're stuck at the mercy of bastards like Ericsson. Do you also sell information? If you have the gold, I have the knowing. Give me ten gold coins, then ask your question. If I can answer it, sweetie, then I will. And if I can't, then I still keep the gold. How does that deal work for me? Believe me, there's little that goes on round here that doesn't come through my doors sooner or later. Comforting to know. But no risk, no fun. Right? I do need information. I'm all ears. Tell me something about Don Esteban's gang. That doesn't sound like a question to me. Give me something to work with, sweetie. Here's your gold back. Let's try again, shall we? Okay. So how strong is the Don's influence in this town? It's not what it used to be, that's for sure. Not since the Inquisition pushed them out into the swamps. Most of the Don's men won't risk coming back either, even for one of my girls. I'm sure Esteban will strike back, though. He's too proud not to. What exactly does the Inquisition want with Harbour Town? They're after the gold artifacts. Crazy for them, they are. No idea what they do with them. All I know is everything they gather, they take up to the monastery. Why are there so many golden artifacts in this town? They've been mostly brought in by the farmers. The artifacts turned up at the same time as those ruins. They just popped up, practically overnight. But you can't eat gold, so most artifacts have been traded. Until the Inquisition claimed that all artifacts must be handed over to them, without any compensation. They came down hard on artifact smugglers too. Most got thrown into the monastery, if they were lucky. Who are the influential people? Who should I know? <laughs> well, there are plenty who think they are. You can't move for loudmouths and big heads round here. But the only one who really pulls the strings is Commandant Carlos. Most of the time he's in the guardhouse above the merchant quarter. You could do a lot worse than allying with his fighters, that's for sure. So who does smuggle artifacts here in the town? Sorry, sweetie, that one's too hot for me to handle. All I can tell you is that Esteban seems as obsessed with the artifacts as the Inquisitor is. And there are spies everywhere, on both sides. So I won't get myself burned with a question like that. Ask me again when the dust has settled in this place. Is there anyone here who can teach me some skills? Well, all my girls are very talented. Oh, you mean combat. I think Cole up in the gutters is a hunter. He'll know about bows. I can't think of anyone else. So if I was a customer, who would you recommend to me? Olga's over there. She's a lovely girl. Very friendly and extremely flexible. And behave yourself, understand? I don't want to hear any complaints. I'd like to hire the services of one of your girls. For the cell guard on the harbour key. Harbour key, you say? Hmm. Take Annika. She normally works that area. Though she may not want to go with your cell guard friend. And that's her choice. Annika, got it. At the harbour key. Thanks. Just leave me alone. I'm not even here, all right? What's the matter? It's that drunken pig, Ericsson. He sits on that bench all day, eyeing me up. Licking his lips, making his hand gestures. It's so creepy. 
Then I find out he paid Madame Sonia for me. I refused to go with him and he beat me, bastard. Didn't anyone help you? Like who? Madame Sonia's afraid of him too. The white robes ain't interested in us a lot. And you can forget about the town guard. Corrupt as the day is long, the lot of them. I'll take care of him. Really? You do that? I'd give the last of my savings to someone who'd make sure he never goes near Madame Sonia's again. Be careful. He's a vindictive bastard. Thanks for the warning. Is Ericsson one of the Don's men? Ha! <laughs> the Don's men are gentlemen compared to him. He comes right out of the town cesspit. Then I'll make sure I stay upwind of him. I can tell you're hungry for the kind of adventure that only Olga can bring. I see things. I know things. It's just Madame Sonia and a few gold coins stand in your way. I paid Sonia for your services. I understand what a man wants. You're an explorer, am I right? An adventurer. Come conquer my continents, lover. Did I take you to a few places you've not seen before? Yeah, you could say that. I wonder why I haven't seen you before. I see many things. Things that are unseen by most. I'm psychic. I haven't been here long. And you don't plan on staying long, right? No, I have business to take care of. Pity, but something tells me you will prove important to this place. So let me give you something for the hard road ahead. If you have upset another and they will not speak to you, then this scroll will soothe them. It contains a powerful spell, so use it wisely. Thank you, Olga. I wish you luck on your continued adventures. I feel you may need a great deal of it. Don't you have some place to be? Try someplace else. I paid Sonia for your services. So then, your place or mine? It's not for me. Marek, one of the guards, would like to get to know you better. Little bit shy, is he? You could say that. Oh, I know the type. Where is the timid fella? He's standing guard by the cells on the Harbour Quay. Oh, that guy? Beard? Eyebrows like the fattest caterpillars I've ever seen. Huh. Well, I suppose gold is gold. Annika will keep you company. Nice. I've been looking forward to this. Right. Come with me where no one can see us. Once Annika is here, then you can have the key. Right, you've had your fun. Now the key to the cell, please. Here, but if this lands me in trouble, I'll make you pay. 
Got it. What? Let's see who they're sending me now. You another gutter dog, errand boy. You even think of asking about my gold. I'll rip out your tongue and feed it to the rats. I heard you're a pirate. We're starting with the hard questions, are we? Can see why they sent you, gutter dog. You gonna point out I'm in prison next? Or ask me if the food's all right? Just answer the question. You are a pirate, right? Pirate? Murderer? Criminal? Thief? I've been called a lot. Now they want to stick me in a cell to let me rot. The world is going to hell. I've been to hell and came back whole. I stared down the throat of the beast, watched water turn to stone, and cities tremble as it swept down upon them. Now they want to stick me in a cell to let me rot. You think that makes sense in these times, gutter dog? I'm sure letting you wander the streets would be a great comfort to the people here. The world's coming apart. We can all see our end in it. What comfort is there to be had in that? You've sailed out. In these storms. Seen a hundred ships founder. The waters swallow the men. But I've never seen the sea watch a man. Choose its time. Until now. Whatever is out there circling this island is doing that. Choosing its time. These temples that rose from the earth, the creatures that came with them, they're nothing. Nothing compared to what is coming next. And no one can stop it. Not you, not me. And sure as hell, not the Inquisition. Do you have a problem with the Inquisition and the Order? Who do you think locked me up here? One day, that Inquisitor will pay. He won't see me coming. How long have you been here? A few days. They think they're softening me up. They want to know where I hid my gold. And here was me thinking they only cared about spiritual matters. The tavern keeper, Patty, is looking for her father. Patty? Patty Steelbeard? That cunning bitch is anything but a tavern keeper. Her father is Captain Gregorius Steelbeard, also a man of the sea. And credit where it's due, he's a great one too. Not that the lice-ridden old bastard didn't make my life hell. I wouldn't trust his daughter further than I could throw her. Same blood, after all. I'll keep that in mind. Who might know where Captain Steelbeard is? My crew have been hunting the cutthroat for months, but found neither hide nor hair of the bastard. Where is your crew? Scattered across the island. Some are in town. Vasily and Ericsson were here not long ago. They're waiting for a sign from me. Steelbeard has a shack here in the town. You sure? Vasily told me. Hmm. Patty better not get wind of it. I don't entirely trust Vasily not to get drunk and blab his mouth. He's meant to be watching Patty. But he'd like to do more than watch, I'll bet. Why are you watching Patty? Pays to keep an eye on your enemies. And her father wants to pay me back a little for scuttling his ship and killing off his crew when we last fought. Sure, he'd have done the same to me given half a chance. But there's a score to settle. So it's up to me to settle it before he pays me back. Finding Steelbeard. That's something me and his daughter have in common. Maybe her search will help me find her father before she does. Tell me about your gold. Who says I have any? Pretty much anyone who mentions you mentions gold. You live on rumors. You might as well believe fairy tales. The door is open. You're free. I'll leave when I want to. At least I get free food here. So why don't you escape? Escape to where? You seen any ships come here in a week, a month? That's because they're all at the bottom of the sea in pieces. 
We've got little time to settle our reckonings before we meet our maker. And I have reckonings to settle on this island. I know what you think about the Inquisition. What do you think about the Don? I've known Esteban for a long time. He's a good man. Keeps his word. And there are few men I know of who do that. Least of all, honest men like the Inquisitor. Or join the Order and believe your soul will be saved by a flame. <laughs> Can't be nice here. It's damp, drafty. Can tell you never lived at sea. But this rancid clothing does mean no good. Short time normally means clean clothes. And I've been sweating into this shirt for five straight weeks. I've an old chest in the warehouse on the Harbour Quay. There's a casket in there with shirts in it. You bring that casket to me, maybe then we can talk about things. I might even throw a few coins your way. Deal. I'll bring you your casket. Here's the key to the chest. It's on the upper floor of the warehouse on the Harbour Quay. Won't be easy to get to, but I can see you're the resourceful type. After you've got the stuff, come straight back here and keep the casket hidden. You give me your word on that. You must really be fond of your shirts. You have my word. Just get going before I stink myself into an early grave. I'm not listening. I've talked to Romanov. So what did you find out? He wants me to get him some clean clothes. You thought a pirate's wish for clean clothes was so important you had to tell me about it? Or do you think the gold is hidden in his laundry? Huh? I heard Luca's also looking for the armor plates. Really? Maybe he doesn't know as much as I thought. Well, make sure he doesn't get his paws on them. They're the property of the Order, and they're gonna stay that way. Out, now. Don't let me set eyes on you again. Now who could teach me to pick locks?
Now who could teach me to pick locks? Leave! You should go away. I found this casket. It has Romanov's name on it. Huh? Do you know what you've just given me? The gold the Don gave to Romanov must be in this casket. Go on. I never would have thought of that. You've done an excellent job. Commandant Carlos will be immensely pleased. Here, your reward. But don't spend it all in one place. Where the hell have you been? And where's my casket? No idea. You're lying. I can smell it. Believe what you like. You don't want to fuck with me, gutter dog. I will find out. Go on, get out of here and find my casket. Believe me, gutter dog, you won't get to do that a second time. Not now. Who could teach me to pick locks? You've been to Madame Sonia's this month. I hear there are some real sweet drinks to taste down there. That is you. Don't run it. Fresh fit. Sometimes you have to take a risk. Okay, I'll take it. Here you go. Pleasure doing business with you. Careful who you show it to. The Inquisition and the Dawn's boys would love to get this. But I didn't trust them not to bash me over the head as soon as they got their paws on it. You've been to Madame Sonia's this month. I hear there are some real sweet meats to Don taste down there. Don wants this, the Inquisitor wants that. What about the money?
Here is your gold. Give me the bowl. Here you go. Just keep quiet about where you got it. Did you belong to Romanov's crew? What's that to you? You see a sailor, you suspect they're a pirate. Not all sailors are pirates. What's your problem? Had a few, have you? Weird. You're missing the tits, so you can't be me mother. Do us both a favor and go screw yourself. You belong to Captain Romanov's crew. Snooping like a spy? Now asking questions? Whoever you are, I'm gonna kick your skull straight out of your stupid head. So? I've got a couple of questions. Have you? Well, I'm not talking to anyone I don't know. So go and piss in someone else's ear. You're gonna tell me what I need to know. Come on, let's get this done. Time to fight! Use your sword, you arse! Ah! Ah! Yeah! Come yeah. on! Use uh. your sword, you yeah. arse! Ah! Go on! Use your sword, you arse! Come on! What have you got, eh? Get out of here, you cracked piss pot. You and I need to settle something. Not giving up, eh? Time to fight! Again! Uh. Get him! Uh. Come uh. on! Uh. Come on! Uh. 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 Come on! Use your sword, you arse! Again! Yeah! Again! Get him! Come on! Someone's for it. 
All right. What do you want? Do you know where Captain Steelbeard's shack is? You don't know what you're getting into. If you keep on like this, you're a dead man walking. You're gonna tell me where Steelbeard's shack is. You're gonna tell me now. All right, all right. In the gutters. It's in the gutters. It's one of those shacks near Costa's hotel. Now that's it. I've said enough. Too much. And that key you had fits the front door. I've said too much. I've got a message for you. Leave now if you know what's good for you. And if you even look at the girls here again, you'll regret it. Poor lover, are you? Or save your effort. I was gonna go anyway. Stay here long enough, you'll catch the pox. Then maybe you already have. Ericsson got what he deserved. Yeah, I saw you gave him quite the beating. Glad in my heart it did, but it ain't enough. In a few days he'll be back on that bench again. Staring, licking, gesturing. I don't think Ericsson will show his face here again. That's a relief and a half, I tell you. You're a good man. Here's that gold I promised. Don't worry, I'll earn it back soon enough. I've got a few specialist tricks. Take care of yourself, all right? Thanks. You too. Good job, sweetie. That bastard Ericsson had it coming. That drunk Ericsson has taken off. That's a weight off my mind and no mistake. I think that warrants a reward. I wouldn't want to be in his shoes. Well, my lad, what can old Jack do for you? You're Jack. That I am. Jack the sailor, then Jack the lighthouse keeper, now Jack the old beachcomber. Seems the sea won't let me go. So you're no longer the lighthouse keeper? Was, my boy, was. The tower's not in use, nor am I. No more ships going out, you see. The storms put pay to the ships, and the town's short of fuel. No use burning things when there are no ships to see it, eh? You wouldn't have a tot of rum to ease my aches, would you? Here, have a little rum. Spend too long by the sea and it rots you. Your knees go, your back, your front, your everything. Everything falls apart. Towers, men, religions, the sea always wins. Remember that, lad. Let's trade. I don't think anyone has any real faith in it. Can I buy some meat? Buy what you want if you can pay for it. I have meat by the piece and sausage. Let's talk business. about your father. 
Captain Romanov is locked up in a cell on the Harbor Key. So it's true what they're saying. He was arrogant enough to tangle with the Order. Did he tell you anything? Romanov says he doesn't know where your father is. He says he doesn't know. But then he'd still say that even if he left my father headless and castrated in a barrel somewhere. Romanov doesn't seem very fond of your father. My father tried to run him through and killed Romanov's favorite whore instead. The pair of them never exactly moved in exclusive circles. Can't say I'm too comfortable having that bastard in town. He'd happily see me dead, or worse. And if you're thinking he might give me to his men for the night, you better know he'd happily do the same with you. Well, that's just one more reason to steer clear of Harbour Town. How about your father? I found this key on Ericsson. Show me. I don't recognize this, but it has my father's initials on it. He marks his territory. I think he'd have carved his initials into me given the chance. This key's a start, but it's useless without a lock. I don't suppose Ericsson gave up what this key was for, did he? No, I didn't think so. Thanks for this. Let me know if you hear where this key might open. Well, did it get nobody knows. Nobody says Don wants this, the Inquisitor wants that. What about what we want? I wish I had the spare time you seem to have. Nothing natural just pops up overnight. How about your father? I found this paper in one of the shacks in the gutters. Now this is a useful piece of paper. This is precisely what I was looking for. I can finally leave this rat hole. You deserve a reward. Here, I can spare 200 gold coins. But take them, and you ask no more questions. Deal? Keep the gold. Just answer my questions. People usually see gold and forget everything else. All right. What do you want to know? What's going to happen to the tavern while you're away? The tavern's only ever been a place for me to hole up in. When it's time for me to move on, I'll find someone who wants it. What will happen with your father's shack? I have no use for it. You can have it if you want. You already have the key, after all. Thanks. That place might come in handy. They obviously did for my father. If you're going to keep it, take my advice and burn the bed linen. I'll take the shack. Always wanted something with a sea view. Do you think your father is still on this island? He was. Whether he still is and whether he's still breathing. Those are different questions, but I'll find him. What's so important about that old scrap of paper? There's no secret that it's linked to my father. You must have worked that much out yourself. But my father is my business. Tell me about Captain Romanov. Think he'll be a problem? Couldn't care less about him. I've got what I wanted now. At least part of it. That's probably enough with the questions, isn't it? For now. Maybe. 
Maybe we can talk again later. Hmm, you're a rare one. And I've traveled the length and breadth and met a lot of people. Right. All I need to do now is find a way out of this wretched town. Don't bother me with this. Just let me sleep. Never mind. I need to find clean lodgings for a sick woman, a farmer's wife. What does that have to do with me? I'll pay for her bed. Well, that's a different matter. If there's coin in it, then come one, come all. How generous of you. Someone there? Good news. I've arranged for your wife to stay at Costa's. Really? Thank you. Thank you. No one has ever done anything for us before. You're a good man and should be rewarded. We don't have much, but we have to give you something. <sighs> Thank you, stranger. Perhaps the darkness will spare you. What is this darkness you're talking about? The darkness that will eat the world. Perhaps it is better to die now. Take this. May it bring you comfort. Delgado will run. I'm certain of it. Well done. It's good to see you've chosen the right side. Seemed the thing to do. Good. I will inform Carlos that you helped me. Here, your reward. Found lodgings for Martha, the farmer's wife. You are a good man. If only all the people in this town were as considerate. Here, I have something for you. May the holy flame light your way. <laughs> <laughs> 